Hello, in this tutorial I will explain how you can send files from your phone to your PC. I also will explain how you can open those files. So we're gonna use three elements, auto share, auto remote and event ghost. So the first thing we need to do is set up our event ghost. So in previous tutorials I've explained how you can install event ghost. So if you don't know that, watch my other tutorials as well. So when you have installed event goes you will see here the plugin auto remote the first thing you need to do is configure that item so right click and choose configure item and there you will see here folder to store files in. you can choose a folder in my case that's my Google Drive folder that's synced with the web-based Google Drive so I've chosen that folder because it's easier to share but you can choose a local folder on your hard drive so fill in here the path or browse the folder that's the only thing you need to do inside the auto remote plugin let's click on ok and now it's time to go to our phone I also will open my explorer so here in the explorer it's the folder where my files will be sent on my computer it's on the C drive and we use Google Drive for example but you can choose whatever you like as folder so the first thing we need to do is is tested so let's open auto remote right now and here I'm inside auto remote and you will see the registered device let me open event ghost and when you open that option you will see here files click on that and then you can browse for a file so let's do that for example let's open an image for example this one okay and then click on send message let's do that and you will see here the image is received so the communication works so that's how you can send files from your phone to your PC but we need to make that more user friendly so we're gonna use auto share for that so let me open auto share and here I'm inside auto share you will see here manage commands let's open that and you will see here send file to PC just create a new command by clicking the plus icon and choose whatever you like I call it send file to PC for example once you have done that you can leave auto share and go inside tasker and inside tasker I created another task called ES auto share send files to PC so what I'm doing right here let's open that and you will see here a flash files will be sent right now and we use an auto remote message let me open that and we use as recipient event goes desktop PC and we use the message files and we send a file ES file one that's all what you need to do okay let's go back and then we do all also another flash and that's the file once you have created that task it's time to create your profile let's go to the profiles profiles and you will see here I created also another profile ES and files to PC and let me open that that's only an auto share command and the auto share command is send file to PC when you choose auto share inside states plugins and then auto share you can configure that command by clicking on the pencil button and you will see here event behavior is on and the command filter will be send file to PC that's all you need to do and then the task related to this profile is the task we created before ES send files to PC so as you see that's quite easy so let's see that in action right now let me open my gallery for example and I have here a picture of me of skydiving let me share that click on the button here and you can choose your commands so for this one we're gonna send file to PC we check that and we see here in the background on my computer the files is sent so it's quite easy to do that I hope you understand that so the next thing we're gonna do is open a file directly on our computer so let's make that task and profile the first thing we need to do is go to our event ghost let's open that again so we are in event ghost and as you see I've created here a macro er auto remote open files from Nexus 
is 5. That's my macro. So creating a macro is quite easy. Just click on this button add macro or configuration and click on add macro. That's quite easy. So when you have created a macro for example, let's do that. Click on add macro. You can cancel that and you have an unnamed macro. In this case I'm gonna delete that. Okay. Let me open that macro and you will see here an auto remote message is open. So we're using an event. Creating an event is quite easy. Right click on that macro and you can choose add event or you can choose that icon or configuration add event. And inside our event we're gonna use auto remote point message point open. So our trigger will be the text open. That's our trigger. Okay let's cancel that. So that is our message. And then we're gonna use a Python command. Creating a Python command is quite easy. Right click and click on add action and choose Python command. Inside that Python command you have to put this from OS import start file point comma start file open bracket eg point event point payload point files and then zero between vertical brackets and close with a bracket of course. That's what you need to type inside that box. So let's click on OK. So for those who couldn't read that text I will show that again. That's the text here. You need to type inside that box. OK. Let's close that and our event ghost is now ready. So we need to create our auto remote message. So let's go back to our phone and back to our tasker. And here I created a task ES open on PC. So let me open that and we use only one thing we sent an auto remote message and we sent it to our event ghost desktop PC and the message is open as you see here right here the message is open and we are gonna send also another file and that will be ES file 1 because we are gonna share that file let's close it and let's open auto share again inside auto share itself you will see also I created a command open on PC you know how to create a command right now. When you have done that, it's time to set up our profile inside Tasker. So here on our profiles, we have a profile ES open files on PC. So when I open that, you will see here also an auto share command and the auto share command is open on PC. Let's edit that. Event behavior is on and the command filter will be here open on PC. That's what we just created inside auto share and we have our task related to this profile so right now it's finished so let's test this so here I'm back inside my gallery and let's open that on my PC click on that button and then choose open on PC and as you see that picture is shown on my PC it's quite easy you can do that with different formats for example let me open my file manager on my phone and here inside my alarms folder I have two sounds for example best wake up and milk ink lavash and let me click on best wake up for example and I can use the auto share command again and we use for example open on PC so let me click on that and you see here in the background VLC player is played that song So as you see it works with images, it works with other files, PDF files, uh, works uh, with music etc etc. So I hope you like this video, it wasn't that difficult but it can very useful. If you like this video give it a thumbs up on my YouTube channel and if you have any questions or comments you can leave that on my Google Plus community or YouTube channel of course and see you later in the next tutorial. Bye.